going to talk you through how you can use easy fundraising for your organization i'm going to talk about how it, what, what we are what we do how it works and how we help you get, get your supporters involved as well all the free support that we give you so Firstly, just to kick off, what, what is Easy Fundraising? So we're an online fundraising platform. So we're different to um, some of the other funders that Peter mentioned at the start of this, whereby it's not something where you're applying for grants. What we are is an ongoing source of unrestricted funding. Our platform is completely free. That's a really important thing to tell you right from the start. So being an Easy Fundraising good cause, there's no cost for you. There's no um, monthly charges or running costs or anything like that. So it's a completely free platform. We've been doing this since 2007, so actually over 15 years now. We're the largest and most well-established of our kind. And we're members of the Institute of Fundraising, which means that we take your fundraising very seriously. And we are about £48 million has been raised through Easy Fundraising for good causes, big and small, all around Scotland, England and Wales, Northern Ireland. So that's what Easy Fundraising is. Before I kind of go on a little bit more about how it actually works, I just thought I wanted to put a little bit of context around it. So these stats won't come as a shock to anybody in the third sector. We did a survey recently of the third sector um, and 60% of charities said they've experienced a drop in revenue due to the cost of living crisis, expecting it to continue. And a third said they were going to change how they fundraised, how they got their money in, or, or they already had changed or they would change. Um, to accommodate the cost of living crisis and how you know it's difficult now to ask ask people for money in the traditional way um but at the same time while we are in the midst of a cost cost of living crisis the percentage of people shopping online is increasing so it's it's, it's gone up year on year but the um uh, the pandemic, obviously, lockdown obviously hastened that. So 60 million of us in the UK are shopping online now. So nearly 40% of all of the shopping in the UK is done online. So why am I telling you this? What, what, what am I going on about? What Easy Fundraising does is it turns the online shopping that you and your supporters, the supporters of your organisation, the, the, the shopping that they're doing, we turn that into monetary donations for your organisation. When I say organisation, I mean any type of good cause can use easy fundraising. You don't need to be a registered charity. You don't need to be a particular size. You just have to be um, for good, unselfish goals, doing something to help others or help the community. So you can be, you can be a school PTA. You can be a, a, a parent teacher association. You can be a church. You can be a social enterprise or a CIC. You can be a food bank. You can be a grassroots sports club. Um, any kind of organisation uh, can use easy fundraising, providing you are there to do something for others. And when I talk about your supporters, I mean anybody connected to your organisation that would like to help you. Uh, so that could be staff if you have them, volunteers if you have them, service users, excuse me, ex-service users, um, trustees, the wider community. The beauty of easy fundraising is that anyone connected to your organisation can use our platform to help you raise money. So the way that it works is we have partnerships with seven and a half thousand UK online retailers and they will all donate a certain percentage of what a shopper spends with them back to your organisation if that shopper has accessed them through the easy fundraising platform. Easiest way to describe it is let's say let's say you wanted to buy a kettle from Argos. Instead of going straight to the Argos website, you would simply come to the Easy Fundraising website, search for Argos. We will send you to the Argos website where you then shop completely as normally. You're shopping with Argos, you're not shopping with us. <coughs> so excuse me. But because you've started Easy Fundraising, when you go on to buy that kettle, Argos will donate a certain percentage. I think Argos is one and a half percent of whatever that kettle has cost back to your good cause. It doesn't cost the shopper anything extra. So if that shopper was going to spend £30 on a kettle or £50 on a kettle or whatever it was, they are still going to spend the same amount. But because they've started Easy Fundraising, the retailer will donate money back to your organisation. So that is how it works. It's just a way of turning all that online shopping that everybody is already doing into free donations, monetary donations for your good cause. 
So we partner with thousands of retailers and it really is all of the retailers that you and your supporters are already shopping with. It's all of the big names, it's all of the major categories. So travel retailers, this is just a handful of them here, some of the really popular ones. Um, supermarkets, um, department stores, fashion retailers, home and garden, travel insurers, so many retailers, all of the leading ones that people are already shopping with. And some of the benefits of easy fundraising, which um, Peter mentioned right at the start, is that the money you and your supporters raise through easy fundraising is unrestricted. So it isn't like applying for a grant where you are um, asking for a certain amount and you have to use it for the project that you, you've, you've said that you're going to use it for. You can use this for whatever you want. So if you just want to use it for running costs, for staff costs, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't matter to us. It's also unrestricted in that it's not like a crowd funder where you're raising a certain amount in a certain time. You can keep using Easy Fundraising for as long as you want. We started back in 2007, as I've said, and we still have we have causes that started with us then and are still raising with us to this day. It's completely free. So just to really stress that you're not going to get charged anything for using Easy Fundraising and your supporters are not going to get charged extra on their shopping. They are shopping with the retailer exactly the same as they would if they'd gone straight to the retailer's website. Prices are no different. Shopping experience is no different. It's just that the retailer knows that you've come from Easy Fundraising and has agreed to donate because you've come through the Easy Fundraising platform. And I think like one of the main kind of benefits really is that it's a way that people can give to you at no extra cost. So at the moment, while, while times are hard, you know, unfortunately, giving to good causes is one of the first things that people cut back on when they are worried about feeding their family or worried about, you know, heating their house. And that's understandable. But that it doesn't, it's not that those people don't want to continue to support you. They just might not be able to. But if they're doing any sort of online shopping, they can still support you without it costing them anything extra. It's just that shopping that they were going to do anyway. And it isn't about encouraging people to shop more or spend more or shop with a retailer that they weren't going to shop with. It's not at all. It's just about if you're already going to buy that thing from that retailer and that retailer is part of Easy Fundraising, you might as well do it this way because you'll raise a, a donation. Donations are, each donation amount is set by the retailer. So it could be anywhere between, some retailers might just donate half a percent of what someone has spent with them. Some might be 10 or even 12%. And I'll show you in a minute how you know what the retailer percentage will be. Some retailers make a, a monetary donation rather than a percentage. So it varies, but I'll show you in a moment how we do that. So let me give you a quick demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Firstly, I'm going to show you how somebody uses the Easy Fundraising website. So the way that it works is that, and I'm going to go through all of this in more detail, is that you register your organisation with us, then your supporters register with us and pick you as the course they want to support. I'll show you how that happens in a minute. But firstly, what I'm going to show you is when someone has picked a course that they want to support, how, how do they use the Easy Fundraising website? How, what, what actually happens? And I'm just going to take a sip of my water at the same time. So this is the Easy Fundraising website. So I am currently logged in. Um, this is the cause here that I support. I am a volunteer and a trustee for Home Start Birmingham Northwest. So they're my cause. So when someone has come to Easy Fundraising and chosen the cause they're going to support, they will have a little account with us. And they'll be able to see which cause they're supporting, how much that cause has raised, how much in the last 30 days, how many supporters, etc. And they'll be able to see their recent donations there as well. The way that it works is you come to the Easy Fundraising site and you simply search for the retailer that you want to shop with. So if I go John for John Lewis, I just type in John, brings me up anything that will match that or is similar. If I just click on that for John Lewis and Partners, it will firstly takes me here and this just shows me what my donation rate will be. So if I'm going to buy one of those uh, Apple or Android products there, half a percent of what I spend is going to my good cause. But anything else I buy, 2% of what I spend is going to go back to my home start. So all I do is I click any one of these yellow shop now buttons. They all do exactly the same job. And all it does is it takes you to John Lewis. 
and then you shop completely as normally. So let's say you already had an account with John Lewis, you can log into it in the normal way. Um, prices are the same exactly as I've said, but because you've started easy fundraising, John Lewis are going to donate 2% of what I buy back to my good cause. So that's one way you can use the site. Another way is you can look at our categories. So let's say you don't necessarily know what retailer you want to shop with, but you do know what you want to buy. You click shop by category and you'll see a list of all of our categories here. Um, so let's say I wanted to, I was thinking of booking a holiday, I would go to travel and I'd pick holiday packages and then I'll get a list of all of the different retailers that we partner with and what their donation rate will be. Um, so there's, there's, there's many, there's a good few hundred here in the travel category. So I'm just going to pick Tui as an example. You can see here, Tui has a few different donation rates. So if you're booking a hotel, 2%, package holiday, 1.5%. Some retailers might have different donation rates depending on what you buy. Some will just have a flat amount. So um, Thomas Cook, for example, I think they're like 1.5% and that's regardless of what holiday you buy. Um, again, any of these buttons, doesn't matter which, click it, takes you to, to Tui, you shop as normal, you book your holiday, uh, etc. And, and, and that's that. So that's how you can use the site. We also have an app which works in exactly the same way as the website. You simply search for the retailer, we send you to the retailer and you shop as normal. But what we also have is what we, it's called here browser extension, but we, it's more commonly known as the donation reminder. So I know what you're probably thinking at this point. You're thinking this all sounds great, but I might forget or my supporters might forget to go to the easy fundraising site. They might just go straight to the retailer's website. And when we started back in 2007, that's probably the thing we heard more than anything was, I love the concept. It's a great idea, but I forgot. I just went straight to the Marks and Spencer's website and I forgot. And if you do that, the retailer doesn't know you've come from Easy Fundraising, so they can't give you a donation. So we created the donation reminder. All you do is you download it once to your computer. You can also download it if you have the Apple version of our app, which I'll come on to in a minute. And what it does is it sits quietly and unobtrusively on your computer or your device. And if you were to go to a retailer's website without accessing Easy Fundraising first, the donation reminder will know and it will alert you so that you won't miss out on your donation. So let me show you what I mean. So if I just open up a new browser and I'm going to choose um, Etsy, they're one of my favourite retailers. So I haven't gone through Easy Fundraising, I'm just searching for Etsy. I'll go to Etsy, but there you go. You'll see because I have the donation reminder installed, it basically knows that that's one of our retailers and that I'm an easy fundraising supporter. So all I do is I click that, it will keep me on the Etsy site and it just enables my donation. So if I go on and buy something now, I'm not going to miss out on a donation. So it's really useful. It's not there to steal your data. It's not there to pop you up adverts or anything like that. It's purely there to alert you if there's a donation available. What it also does is if you clicked, when you saw that pop up, you click no thanks because you don't think you're going to buy anything, you're just having a look. But then you did put something in your basket. When you get to checkout, it will, it will alert you again. If it knows that you still haven't logged in, you'll get another little notification basically saying, are you sure? Um, so it's great. It just means you don't need to worry about forgetting. It works with most of our retailers. There are a few that it doesn't work with. Amazon is one. Booking.com is another. Expedia is a third. There are a handful of others. For those guys, you have to come through the website. But for most of our retailers, the donation reminder uh, works. What it also does is, again, if you were just searching for something you wanted to buy. So let's say this morning your washing machine packed up and you thought, oh, I need to buy a washing machine. Where can I get it from? Where's the best price? Just search washing machine. And what you'll see is if I scroll down, if there are any of our partner retailers that you could buy that product from, it will be displayed here in your search results. So it'll have our logo, it'll have the button. You can see there's lots of them here. Um, and all you would do is, I'll just use John Lewis again, I've already been there. You just click on that, takes you to John Lewis, takes you to the retailer, again, logs you in in the background. So it's really handy. Um, and again, it's it, it's free, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, and 
the other thing it's really good for as well is it might not be that you've forgotten to go to Easy Fundraising. You might just not know that that's one of our retailers. There are so many. I don't know them all. And I've been here since day dot, but I don't know them all. But the Donation Minder does. So um, one of my colleagues here recently um, randomly needed to book a dog sitter. She was going to a wedding, uh, needed somebody to look after her dogs for the weekend. Found the website where you can book a dog sitter. Um, and the donation reminder popped up. She was like, oh, I had no idea they were one of our retailers. So she booked a dog sitter. She got a donation because we have so many retailers. You just might not necessarily know that that retail is part of the program. So that is how it works if you are a shopper, um, if you're a supporter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through how your organisation can register with us, because this is the, the process is that your organisation, you register your organisation with us very straightforward then we will help you tell your supporters about easy fundraising and help them to come along and support you and then you'll start raising so how do you register your organization so what you do is you go to this uh, link here so i'll send these slides over to peter afterwards so he can send them out if you're not if you're sort of trying to scribble it down now it's basically a page that will look like this and we've set this up because of the work we do with with Vaslan. so easy fundraising to all uk south dash lanarkshire you'll come to this page here and you simply type in the name of the cause that you want to support that you want to register so i've given the example there citizens for Vice lanarkshire but whatever your cause is you type that in and you click register now then, oh, sorry, I don't know why uh, why I've got an alternative to Amazon Smile. That must be a, a, a popped up from a, a previous presentation. Ignore that. Uh, what you will see is you will see, firstly, this um, screenshot here. You'll see this page here. And we will ask you for your name, your email address, and a password. And what we're doing at this point is we are registering your organization with us and we are registering you as the point of contact, as, as our point of contact. Um, we're also registering you as the first supporter at the same time. So you won't need to register yourself to support your cause. We'll automatically do that at the same time. Then we'll ask you if you're a registered charity. You don't have to be a registered charity. This is just for our records. So click yes or no. Then click register my cause and you'll see this screen here. So I just did a test one so I could show you what this looks like. It will say whatever the name is your cause is now registered. Then click next step. And we'll ask you if you would like to put a description in of your cause, what you do, what you're raising for. And the reason is what we're doing in the background is we're creating a page on the Easy Fundraising site for your organisation. And if you would like to have a bit of information on that page about what you do so that people know who you are, you can do that here. But don't worry, if you are not feeling inspired, you don't have it to hand, just skip that for now because you can very easily add that later. Then we'll ask you if you'd like to put a phone number in. Now, don't worry, this is not so we can ring you every hour of the day. That's not what we do. And we're not trying to sell anything. The reason we ask you is because all of our causes, if they feel they want one, and have a call with a member of our team. So I'm, I'm looking at our team right now. They're over there. Um, it's Claire, Rena, and Jess, and they're our coaches. And their role is to talk to causes to help them make the most, the most of easy fundraising. So if you think, actually, I've registered, but I still need a bit more help. I'm not 100% certain. I've got some questions. Just book a call. It's at a time to suit you. So when you click that book now button, a calendar will open where you can pick a time and date that suits you and a team member will call you. So it's not that people are going to be ringing you all hours. We'll ring you when you've asked us to ring you. Uh, usually they take about 15 to 20 minutes. If you need longer, that's fine. Um, if you literally just have a few questions, that's equally fine. So if you don't want the call, you don't know, if you need one, also absolutely fine. But the option is there for all of our causes because we just, we know that having a chat with someone Asking questions that you might think, oh, it's a daft question. I don't want to like email into customer support. Having a quick chat with someone really helps. So that's why we ask for your phone number. Lastly, then we will ask you if you would like to get that donation reminder that I, I showed you. You can click, you can really easily install it at this point. Or again, you can say no, thank you. And you can come back and do it at a later date. 
because we know that you're probably going to want to shop and support your cause as well. So having the donation reminder will really help you. Once you've done that, all of that will take five minutes maximum. You will then have a page on the Easy Fundraising site that will look something like this. So this is the cause that I support, Homestart Birmingham Northwest. This is their page. So you can see they have put a little description in. There's also, uh, you can also add a logo in. You don't do that as part of the sign-up journey. You can do that afterwards. You can have a logo or a picture, entirely up to you. You don't have to. The page works equally well without one, but we normally recommend it's quite nice for people to be able to land on this page and go, oh yes, I can see that. So that's home start. So once you have your page set up, which we do for you, so don't worry, you, you don't have to set that page up yourself. We're doing that for you. You will see that there is this button here that says sign up and support this cause. Because what happens next is you, you want to encourage your supporters to come to this page and choose you as the cause that they're going to support when they shop. I'll talk about this in more detail in a minute, but just to go through a few important things. So when somebody clicks that sign up and support this cause, this cause button, the only information they will need to give us is their name and an email address and set a password. So don't worry, you are not um, setting your supporters up to have to hand over loads of personal information. We just ask for a name, email address and password. And the reason we do that is so that we can create them an online account, an easy fundraising account that links to your cause. So we know then when they're shopping, they support you. They only do this once. They don't have to keep doing this every time they want to make a purchase. They register and choose you as the cause they want to support once. We don't need their address. We don't need their mother's maiden name. We don't need their financial details, their credit card details. We don't need their horoscope, their inside leg measurement, nothing like that. Name, email address, password. It enables us to create an account that links to yours. They do that once. And then whenever they use the Easy Fundraising website or the app, or the donation reminder, we know that they are supporting your organization. What we do is we total up all of the funds, all of the donations raised by all of your supporters, and we pay them directly to you every three months. So the money doesn't go to your supporters and they then have to pass it on to you. It goes directly to you. So four times a year, we pay out the donations that your, your supporters have raised. You just have to have raised £15 in a quarter to trigger a payment. So just one five, 15. If you haven't, if you haven't raised 15, maybe you joined us at the end of a quarter, as an example, you'll never lose that money. It just rolls to the next quarter and we'll pay your donations there. One of the things we'll ask you in the first few weeks of you setting up your cause with us is how would you like us to pay you? We can pay you by bank transfer straight into your cause bank account, which is how most of our causes are paid. But if you would prefer a check, you can have a check. We were going to phase out checks, actually, but we had a, a small outcry from a small number of causes that said, no, no, we love getting a check. So if you want a check, you can have a check entirely, entirely your call. So how do you get your supporters to come along to your page and sign up and support you? So we know that you are busy. We know that in the third sector, in the community voluntary sector, you guys are busy. You're often volunteers, um, or you might be part-time, or fundraising might be part of your role, amongst many, many other things. I'm a trustee of a charity, so I know what it's like. I, I work full-time, I have a family, and I'm a trustee. It's hard work finding the time to do what I need to do for the charity sometimes. So, what we don't want easy fundraising to be is time consuming for you. What we want it to be is you register your organization with us, you tell your supporters, they sign up, and then they raise money whenever they shop. So once you've registered your organization with us, there is an area of our website called Promote My Cause. I'm going to click it here. And in here, you will find everything you need to tell your supporters and get them over to your page to sign up. <coughs> Sorry, do excuse me. So let's say after this session, you register you're, and you think, right, first thing I wanna do is I wanna tell my supporters, I want them to come to my page and choose me as the cause they support. Come to promote my cause, 
go here, go to top four resources. And what you will find here is ready written content for you. I'm going to use Facebook as the example because it's the first one. So you've got a ready written Facebook post here, automatically populated with the name of your course. So it says Home Start Burnley Northwest for me. It will say the name of your course for you. And very importantly, automatically populated with a link. And when they go to that link, it will take them to your page so they can sign up and support you. It's autom automatically does that. So all you would need to do is copy that, click copy and paste, post to Facebook. It will open up into Facebook with a nice um, image and you just share it. And that's it. You've shared with your supporters what they need to know about easy fundraising and where they need to go to sign up to support you. Same for Twitter or X, as I believe it's now called, uh, WhatsApp post as well. Somebody told me recently that, that whenever they want their volunteers to do anything, they do it via WhatsApp because nobody ignores the WhatsApp message, which I thought was very true. Um, maybe you don't do social media. Maybe that is not how you communicate. There's an already written email template here. Again, you just automatically populated with everything you need. You just copy your email template and put it into your email. Um, there's lots more in this area. Um, so, for example, whenever we've got um, things that new things that we think you might like to share with your supporters. So at the moment, we know lots of people are buying back to school items. I know they've only just broken up. Um, or actually, you guys, we break up quite late here in England. You guys break up in, in, in uh, June, don't you? So actually, your guys will be going back to school soon. So if you go back to school there, you've got posts, uh, um, emails, etc., uh, just to remind supporters, hey, if you're buying, uh, you might buy new school shoes, then don't forget to use Easy Fundraising. So we will always put new content in here to help you um, to help you keep the messaging fresh. Um, you will find in here soon uh, things like uh, flyers as well that you can download. There's also things like how-to videos here. There's wording to help you. Um, Tell your supporters about that donation reminder that I showed you. So again, you've got videos to share, you've got posts. So the aim with this area is that everything you need to tell your supporters that you've joined Easy Fundraising and to keep them raising should be here. Um, if you're already a cause with us, actually, you might be looking at this and think, oh, this looks different to how it used to look. We've just given this a whole area a bit of a facelift. Um, so there'll be more things added to, to this area soon. But the aim here, here is that everything you need is all in one place. So you can register, you can tell your supporters, you can get them signed up. We will also send you emails if you've if you if you've said yes, I'm happy to receive emails help to help you get going to help you raise money. So we'll give you top tips, we'll point you in the direction of, of useful resources, that sort of thing. So We'll, we, once you've registered, we don't leave you to just fend for yourself. We give you as much help as you think you need. So that coaching call I mentioned, you don't just have to have that when you've just registered with us. If in six months time you think, oh, I could just do the chat with someone or I could do with a refresher, just book a call and a team member will give you a call. Because as I say, we recognise that you're busy, you're doing a good thing, doing what you do for your good cause. So if we can make it a bit simpler and easier for you, then we will. So I'm just gonna have a sip of my water. And then I'm just gonna talk you through five ways to really make the most of easy fundraising. And then I'll stop for questions. Um, so this is what causes that raise really well with us. This is what they say, this is what they do. So it's like best practice, supermarkets. And this is my favorite top tip. All of the supermarkets, the online supermarkets, will donate to you every time somebody does a shop with them. So this table is just to show you what I mean. So Tesco's, as an example, if one of your supporters uses Easy Fundraising to make their first ever shop with Tesco, they're going to raise £3.50. But every time they shop with them after that, they're going to raise £1.75. Uh, so if you've got somebody that shops weekly with Tesco's, they are raising close on a hundred pounds for you in a year, just doing the grocery shopping that they do anyway. 
Morrison's one pound fifty, Asda a pound. So, so usually, if it's the first time someone shop with them, they'll give you a much bigger amount first. That's just how these retailers work for some reason. Um, but they'll all donate every time. It's I, I can't really stress actually how what a useful tool this is because often people will say I don't really shop online that much. And when you chat to them, they go, oh, "Yeah, I do. A, I do a weekly grocery shop." It's like, well, you can raise money every time you do that. I spoke to a cause not that long ago, actually, and they registered with us in March and they've not got lots of supporters. I think they've got about 10 or 12 supporters. Um, where are we now? We're in August. They're already close on £200 raised and it's predominantly through people doing grocery shopping. So you'll find wording in that promote my cause area to tell your supporters about this. Such an easy way for people to raise every single time they shop. Um, I went away on holiday recently, I went to the Lake District <laughs> and we booked a house, it was a big fam big family affair and I've never shopped with Tesco online before but I thought I'm going to do it, um, booked a big Tesco shop to be delivered when we got there, raised £3.50 for my home start just for, for doing that so it's a really good way to uh, raise consistent funds. Another one is travel and holidays, so I showed you the travel category when I was demonstrating the site. It's not just it's not just actual physical holiday that you can book through uh, one of our retailers. It's every element of a holiday. So the actual holiday itself, the car hire if you need it, airport parking. I've actually just I'm going to Prague next weekend with my family, and we've just booked um, with Manchester to book park at Manchester Airport, and we've got a donation. Um, travel insurance, travel money, um, transfers to and from the airport, every part of your holiday can raise a donation because we've got all of those sort of retailers. Um, but it's not just holiday retailers, it's also things like train travel. So Trainline is one of our very popular retailers. Their donation, I think it's only half a percent, but it's something that people do quite a lot of because you'll get a donation if you're booking a train ticket from London to Edinburgh or from one town to the next town it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be a big journey you'll get the donation um <laughs> one of my colleagues here uh again she uh, supports a brownie unit and one of their supporters is a lady that travels regularly from birmingham to london on the train and she books she books a couple of times a week she's their top supporter because she raises all the time with train line <laughs> so excuse me it's also um uh, uh, UK based holidays it's not just foreign holidays so I'm just gonna have one of my throat sweets if you don't mind um, it's also uh, things like ferries and cruises coaches all manner of um, travel <laughs> with donation sorry excuse me uh, right so next slide <laughs> another way to raise uh, funds is through retailers that you can um, book a um, a policy with. So things like insurers, mobiles, that sort of thing, where you're taking a contract out with them. They won't give you a percentage of what you spent. They'll give you a much larger one-off amount when you take a new policy with them. It has to be a new policy. <laughs> you won't get a donation if you are renewing with say one of these retailers there's many more there's about 200 different insurers as an example and um, so say you were insuring with lv if it was a renewal you won't get a donation but if it's a new policy the donations are large they're 20 30 40 50 pounds um sky as an example if you're taking a new tv package with sky they're often up to 50 pounds and these are the sorts of things that people do online now. And they're also the boring grown-up purchases that people have to do every year. You nobody gets any pleasure out of renewing your car, of, of getting car insurance or home insurance. But unfortunately, you've got to do it. And your supporters will be doing this anyway. So somebody, I think AA at the moment, their home, their car insurance is £20. Somebody, if you've got five people taking a car insurance policy in a year, that's £100 raised for nothing. Um, and although it would be great if you got it on renewal, it's just how these retailers work, unfortunately. But if you're taking a new policy, you usually get a better deal on your insurance anyway, or your policy, because they tend to favour new uh, new customers. So actually, 
it, it, the message to your supporters is change your car insurance or your home insurance or your pet or your travel or whatever or your mobile go with the new provider you'll get a better deal because that's how these things work and you'll raise at the same time um another one is business purchases and what i mean by this is think about what your organization buys so you can buy for your organization and raise for it at the same time so i can see some of you from your backgrounds that you're in office here so you'll have to buy things like in, in container um maybe tea and coffee for the staff room paper um even if you've got a little home office you might need to buy things like that or maybe your your organization does events and you might need to buy food for an event or you might need to print off flyers just think about what you buy as an organization because you can do all of this through easy fundraising retailers and raise at the same time i um spoke to a really small charity quite recently uh, they've just got their first paid employee and they had to buy a laptop so they did it through pc world business through easy fundraising and they got a donation at the same time so they already were going to need to buy that they got a donation at the same time also think about your supporter network. Do any of them buy for business? Do any of them run their own businesses? Do any of them travel for business? Trustees are often a good source of, of this. They're often involved in business. So just have a think. Do any of them do that? And if they do, could they do it through easy fundraising? Um, and then that donation reminder, that's, that's a really good top tip. Get that donation reminder and tell your supporters or encourage your supporters, should I say, to get it to. Because it just means... You won't miss out on donations if you have the donation reminder because it is human nature. You might forget or you might not think that retail is part of the program. Get the donation reminder. We'll do all the remembering for you. So before I start the questions, three quick reasons to use easy fundraising. As I said here, anything from a takeaway to a train ticket can raise a donation. This money is available from the retailers. You might as well have it. It's a way your, your community can support you for free without it costing them anything extra. And it should be very straightforward to manage, very straightforward to get set up. It won't take you long. We've tried to make it as easy as possible. Something that ticks along in the background, raising funds for you all year round, four times a year will, will send you what you've raised. It doesn't conflict with anything else you're doing either. So if you're doing applying for grants or putting on events or doing a donor push, all of that you can still do, but you can have easy fundraising at the same time. Um, so yeah, just to uh, reiterate, if you would like to register with us, I hope you do, then um, that's the link to register through. And if you've got any questions, you can just contact me if it's straight after this session uh, or if it's in six months time, that's absolutely fine. My job here is to support um, Vaslan and the organisations associated with Vaslan. So I'm your point of contact. Don't feel you can't ask. Don't think it's a stupid question. It won't be. Um, and on the subject of questions, I'm going to stop sharing and um, take a sip of my water and see if there are any questions. Sorry for all the coughing. <laughs> Can't believe I've actually got through it without expiring. Oh, here. It's Bobby Bell here, aren't we? Hello? Can you hear me okay? I can, yeah. Hi. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm Bobby Bell. I'm chair of a, a charity. Right. Self-Directed Support Network, South Lanarkshire. And the first thing that struck me, this is all very good. And we'll certainly sign up for it, I think. But the wee nag in the back of my mind, how do you convince our supporters this isn't a scam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, so I would say that um, our, tr our trust pilot rating is extremely high, um, 4.7%, I think. We're members of the Institute of Fundraising, so you can't be members of the Institute of Fundraising if you're a scam. Um, yeah. We're not, what we're not doing is passing on your details to retailers. So without getting boring and technical when you click out from our site or our app or our donation reminder to a retailer you are anonymized you become a piece of code basically retailer doesn't know who you are unless you then decide to go on and create an account with that retailer that's entirely your decision we don't pass that information on so they're not then going to get spammed by retailers or anything like that um we've been we've been going since 2007 and nearly 200,000 causes use us and I guess also because we have the relationship with Vaslan as well you know they they wouldn't be kind of working with us if they didn't you know if they, if they thought we were a scam um but yeah you know I get that because it's like it's money for free but I guess another thing you could say is 
The reason the retailers do this, oh, as well, just to say, we're funded by the retailers. That's how easy fundraising is free. So if somebody makes a purchase, we get a commission in the background, which we then use to, to keep the site running and keep it free for everybody. Um, well, what I was going to say is sometimes people ask me, well, why do the retailers do this? You know, there, there must be something in it for them. And the reason they do it is, one, they might get a new customer, actually. you Somebody might shop with that retailer because they're going to get a donation. And if somebody then goes and shops with that retailer, they've got a new customer. And an online customer is more valuable to them than an in-store customer. That's just how it is. But another reason is they all have corporate social responsibility targets that they want to be able to hit. They all um, want to be able to give back to the community. So John Lewis, as an example, um, we have to report to them annually how much has been raised by people um, shopping with them through the Easy Fundraising platform. And they include that in their annual reports as part of their corporate social responsibility um, because it's very important to them. Uh, and another thing I would say is we work with retailers that don't work with things like traditional cashback sites. And there are sites where you can get the money into your own pocket. Retailers like John Lewis won't work with that sort of retailer, that, with that sort of platform, but they do work with us because we're giving money back to good causes. So hopefully, hopefully that helps. But if you do want to register and you would like me to put something together for you to say, you know, these are some of the benefits. This is why you can trust it. I'm very happy to do that. You can just drop me an email once you've registered and I'll I'll pull you something together. Um, we've got a whole extensive kind of about us section on the website where people can read about what we do and, and how we do it and, and how we were set up, etc. So that would also help. But if you would like me to put something together, more than happy to do that. I think we'd probably go for that. I think well, I'm thinking this through what we'd probably do is um, send us something out to our, uh, all our members, first of all. Yeah. That this is in the pipeline and then follow up with with a registration request or something like that. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll get back to that. Yeah, absolutely. Just drop me an email. I'm more than happy to help. Um, I think Wendy's got a... <laughs> yeah, Wendy next. Thanks very much. And thank you, Becky. That was like really inspiring and oh, very good. exciting. I was Googling all that. I'm involved in a like a parent council and a, oh, yeah. a of a charity and the old charity I work for, they're all signed up, but they're actually not, <laughs> they're clearly not using it. But I'm here with the, my work hat on and we're not signed up yet. So very excited because I think the, the comment I wanted to make was that we work with a lot of quite vulnerable families who are really struggling with the cost of living crisis. However, even they will be having to make some basic purchases, you know, and they can be empowered to support the charity that's supporting yeah. them. And I really like that power, so yeah. that, that way that worked. And, but I had questions, a couple of questions. So one was like about how you vet the organizations that sign up for causes, because you could potentially get some amazing, <laughs> you question. could potentially get dodgy causes. And I was just like, how do you vet that side of it? You've obviously explained about the sort of, standards of your side and the other question was more practical and it was about as a donor yeah could you donate to a couple of different causes and how do you do that or do you need to sign okay. up with different yeah. emails right. and things? Sure. okay i'll take those questions in in um reverse order um so yes you can register and support more than one cause so i have done it myself at one stage i had three different causes three three children at three different schools all of those schools use Easy Fundraising. So you can sign up and support more than one cause. What will happen is, so it's very easy to do that. You just go to your account and there's a, it says change the cause I support. And you just type in the cause you want to change to. It will always um, stay supporting the cause that you, you, you last supported, if you like. So what you can't do is you can't split your donation in half you can't say well one percent here one percent there whatever cause you were supporting the last time you used easy fundraising it will be that until such time as you change it so uh, uh, most people support just one cause but some people do support more than one sometimes people will say well if i'm making a really big purchase i'll support one cause and if i'm doing my day-to-day -day, i'll support another cause so it's um entirely up to you so yeah that's that's fine um and um in terms of vetting, yeah, really valid question. So every cause 
that registers with us are manually approved to the site. So I'm looking at my team over there, that's what they do. So when you register with us, we will check that um, you are who you say you are um, and, that will, and that your cause exists. Now by that, I don't mean that you have to have you don't have to submit your constitution or anything like that, but we need to know that, yes, that cause exists in some way, shape or form. So that could be that you have a Facebook page that is active or or you have a Facebook page or um, you have a website or we can find reference to you um, somewhere on, on, on the on the Internet, if you like. Um, if you're a um, if you're a charity, we might look on the um, well, the charity commission in England and the equivalent in Scotland. We might look there. We do the due diligence on our side and we are not looking to turn people away. So if we have questions um, and we're not sure exactly who you are, we will contact you and say, could you just give us a bit more information? So a good example would be you might sometimes get somebody registering the cause name St. John's Church. And as you can imagine, there are loads of them. So if we can't work out which St. John's Church you are, we'll get in touch with you and just say, oh, could you just let us know where you are or a bit more information. So we'll do the due diligence. Um, things we don't allow is we don't allow political parties. And the reason we do that is because if we allow the mainstream political parties who you might argue, argue have a legitimate reason to fundraise, then we have to allow niche or potentially offensive political parties. So we have to have a rule that if we're saying no to you because you're a very strange, have some very strange views, political party, we're also saying no to us. You can't be a political party. Um, you can't register for a cause that, it can't register a cause that may or may not exist at some point in the future. You, you have to be, you have to be in existence. You can be brand new, that's fine. Um but you can't say, I want to raise money because I might want to take uh, some underprivileged children away on holiday next year. Um, you couldn't register for personal gain. So again, you couldn't register for a holiday. But if you were a charity uh, or a good cause, that were, was taking some underprivileged children on holiday next year. That's what you do. And it's all set up. That would be fine. So we will do the due diligence. And if we are, if we think a cause is not legitimate or we have queries we will we will say we'll say no to them we do get some funny ones every now and again um we had one had a young boy uh try to register because his mum had confiscated his playstation and he wanted to raise money to buy a new playstation um <laughs> so we're like it's very uh very inspiring of you but no that's not what we're here for so we do get some funny ones but that's why we manually validate everybody everyone that registers we will check who you are, happy that you're, who you, who you say you are and that you exist and then we'll approve you. Does that make sense? Um, I think I've yeah. got... Carol, I think. Carol. Yeah, Hi, next Carol. One. Hi there, Becky, that was wonderful. Yeah. Sounded great. I'm going to register. Um, I chair um, it's a community group that was set up, it's almost two years ago, um, Chatty Crafters, and we also have a a community garden and it's really um, helped a lot of people in the community with loneliness mm. their mental health etc and uh, we've had some um appreciated um funding from Vaslan themselves um is it okay I, I think my question is partly to peter and partly to yourself and uh, following on from what bobby had um maybe asked as well you know for our members would we be able to show them the video if 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 uh, peter's making a recording of this today can we then show our members would that be an easier way to sort of fine get the window is that yeah, okay absolutely yeah. fine with me um yeah, yeah i'll all... probably answer that one uh becky yeah so what i'll be doing is i've, I've just taken a recording of uh becky's presentation and just this uh, oh. question and answer session uh, and what we'll do is i'll pass it on to a, a video guy that will sort of top and tail it and uh, sure. take out things and then it'll just be available on uh, the Bazland youtube channel uh, and i'll okay. send the link out to that so it can be used whenever you you have a meeting carol that's not a problem 
That's great. It's just, I would rather do that than you try to explain everything. <laughs> <laughs> there are also some videos on the website as well. There's a couple okay. of videos that are like easy fundraising explained in 60 seconds. Uh -huh. you know, just try to okay. make it really, really simple. So, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned, absolutely share away. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Okay, Jacqueline, I think you're next. Hi. It sounds great, it really does, um, and it sounds easy, and I think it is a great fundraising platform. The only thing that concerns me is the uh, effect that online shopping's having on the high street. Uh, yesterday, Boots announced that they're going to close so many stores. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Becky? Yeah, absolutely. We do get asked this, um, and, you know, unfortunately, online shopping is, you know, is increasing. Um the way we we try to kind of combat that is we we have um we work with retailers that are like marketplace retailers so people like etsy and um uh redbubble and ebay and people like that where you're not buying from a large organization you're buying from an individual small business if you like so not on the high street etsy that sort of thing um and the other thing I would say is that these retailers, um, so I don't know, using using Tesco's as an example, um, they, without us shopping with them, without us shopping with these retailers, these retailers can't exist, if you like. So this money is there available from retailers as a thank you because we are support, you know, we are continuing to support them. So you you might as well have that money, I guess is what I would say. You know, Tesco's, as an example, are committed to, you know, giving into communities through their grants um, uh, and their community grants that they have. And this is kind of a, a another part of that, really, is that the retailers are giving back into communities in this way. So it kind of, while, yes, you know, the, 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 the death of some high streets is very apparent and very visible, this is a way that, retailers are giving into communities if that makes sense I mean there isn't an easy answer really because uh, you know I hear you that the town that I live in our you know our um our high street is they're in the process of, of, of trying to kind of reinvigorate it um but yeah that that's that would be kind of my answer to that really right okay thank you Becky okay no problem 